Good afternoon, Manandor virtually present here. Once again, I welcome you all for the national plenary 10 day webinar series on quality enhancement in teaching and learning strategy. Now, I request Dr. A. Selvalakshmi, Assistant Professor of English, to introduce our today's guest speaker, Dr. S. Rajarajan, Associate Professor, Department of English, Kanji Mahmudinder Government Institute for the postgraduate studies and research training. Over to you. Thank you, Dr. Linga. Uh, uh, good afternoon. Uh, it is really, we should, uh, at the very outset, we should thank you for accepting our invitation. And uh, you have readily uh, uh, accepted it. And you are here at the right time. I think you were here by 1.30. And then you had all your... Uh, uh, checking of the PowerPoint and all such things. Really, we are very uh, thankful for it, sir. And now, Dr. Rajarajan uh, is uh, very much uh, interested in research. And to his credit, he has put in 28 years of service in teaching and research. And he has uh, delivered nearly 35 lectures at various educational forums. And uh, very much vibrant in uh, research. And he has authored many books. And uh, I think uh, currently uh, he is guiding uh, nine um, PhD students and uh, 10 MPhil school uh, scholars and uh, five PhD scholars have been awarded degree. And he has published nearly 90 research articles in journals. And he had been the editor of six books and six journals. And uh, very much um, interested in academic. And that is why he has readily accepted our invitation. And today he is here to brief us on the uh, topic NIRF. And uh, I think uh, we we are going to uh, enrich a profile after his uh, uh, what to tell talk on this particular topic. Definitely, sir. With this oh, words, yes. I would uh, invite Dr. Rajarajan. Sir, the floor is yours. Okay, madam. Okay. Am I audible to you, madam? Yes, sir. Very much audible. Well, Oh, okay, thank you. Good afternoon. First of all, I would like to thank the management who gave this opportunity. Uh, they were the soul and the source for this program. There is no doubt in it. I also my, I extend my sincere gratitude to the principal who laid the foundation for this program not a day or two, ten long days. Very difficult. I don't know the uh, uh, real scene or screen behind this program, whether the madam's uh, full fledged, uh, what is called a design or Selva Lakshmi's pressure, I don't know. Uh, whatever it is, it is very difficult to run the show uh, for ten full long days. It's very difficult. Uh, I extend my sincere thanks to you, madam. And now I have the opportunity to thank Dr. A. Selva Lakshmi. He is known to me through academic more than 10, 10 years. And being a coordinator, definitely this program is a successful one uh, because I am on the 10th day. So that is the proof. And I also thank the Co-coordinator Dr. Linga Murugeswari. Uh, almost all, uh, she may be the event manager who controls the entire system. Uh, I extend my warm greetings to the participants from various colleges, various universities, institutions at this occasion. Uh, in fact, it is really difficult. Uh, 10 long days. I My session is uh, just after the lunch, that means around 2 o'clock. And the topic is also very uh, peculiar. It's not my subject. See, uh, the topic is NIRF. I'm, I'm only a, an English teacher. Uh, so I don't know how you, you are going to gain the facts or factors or the elements in this program, what is called the NIRF is a body. And what are the features we need? It's a very 
difficult to understand but at the same time i would like to share my own experience that is the main reason i accept this uh, floor when uh, the coordinator asked me and principal is also so particular to put me on the 10th day instead of on monday or tuesday uh, so all these reasons behind that they feel that i am more uh, knowledgeable in this field nir of it is not so all the available data are actually uh, derived or what is called extracted from the mhrd sources only because it is a uh, what is called uh, controlled system we can't infer whatever we like so that is why i don't want to infuse or uh, give any uh, misleading information in connection with the nir that is very very important so at this stage i would like to share with you some points uh, really great uh, for the part of audience who are here for the 10 long days uh, with some expectations no doubt after this session my own experience i am really going to share with you some some of the points what is called the templates it is already released by the mhrd Uh, so now i would like to start my uh, what is called the thrust area that is given by the uh, the webinar session uh, topic is here nirf and the session is about quality enhancement in teaching and learning no doubt quality enhancement i don't want to stress the word enhancement quality teaching and a learning strategy is very very important as far as nirf is concerned the very simple thing before going to start with what is called nirf what are the things first of all we must uh, understand the deviations or the differences between what is called accreditation and also ranking so accreditation is a five year project five year process so every year you have to upload your documents on the fifth year based on your uploaded documents the nac will accredited or re accredited whatever the rank whatever the marks you possess whereas the, this one what is called the nir of national institutional ranking framework is an yearly affair that means every year the graph may be upward or downward it depends upon the our own available data and again the problem is here uh, you can't access i think most of the participants here uh, you know about the net examination results most of the participants may have this experience every time the net uh, what is called the qualifying marks always uh, either it may be increased or sometimes it may be decreased very rarely very rarely it may be decreased most of the time uh, suppose if the uh, eligible for mark 65.3 last year means this time it must be uh definitely 65 or 68 and above what may be the reason so it's a connection that is ranking is always connected with the number of participants number of what is called the stakeholders and their total marks again divided by the same number and this time what we call percentile and this is the system also applicable as far as the nir of ranking is also concerned number of colleges participated and based on their mark put together again they will bifurcate actually we are going to deal some mathematical symbol and other things uh, again i i don't want to penalize your mathematical knowledge by means of using the symbol i am just i would like to just infer the inferences or the informations available in the nir of templates 
the accreditation versus the ranking again the same uh, accreditation is uh, the same message that is the yearly performance at the end of the year it will be but the ranking is an annual report it means i may secure that is our college may secure 46th rank this year next year it may be 20th rank or 58th rank we don't know based on the competition see based on the competition the rank will be different so this is only just a, an outline or what is called an idea about what is called accreditation versus nir and most of the time the stakeholders including myself used to ask the question what is the benefit then whatever the project whatever the process whenever it is included or whenever it is introduced the next question is what is its benefits why do we need these categories these systems uh, almost paper work system it consumes a lot of energy uh, it, it cannot be expressible uh, in, in fact uh, every college you know the people of iqsc and the people of some uh, that is those who came out and do the volunteer service suffered a lot in connection with uploading all these documents and before uploading it is very very difficult to collect the material that is very very difficult so after all this hardship most of the faculty members used to ask what is the benefit of securing the rank 5 or 6 or 10 or 11 or 100 or something else so again it's a very very important message keep it in your mind we are always in a competitive world if our competition is not up to the level at one stage we will be or you will be or i will be vanished so in order to secure your place that is very important in order to secure your place you must know your own what is called swot analysis strength weakness opportunity and threats you have to assess periodically where you are as an individual i am not uh, actually mentioning the college right now because the program is meant for only what is called the uh, quality enhancement in teaching uh, so we teachers uh, i think the program is fdp there won't be any students so uh, in that sense i am addressing the audience uh, pretext that you are my what is called the teaching community otherwise those who are ambitious or aspirant to the teaching community again you have the right time to learn to know more about the responsibility in teaching though the salary structure and other factors attracts many many number of uh, people many many number of students to enter into this profession but it is really challenging and particularly nowadays is a great challenge so all the educational institution now they should know their weakness strength and opportunities and threats in order to identify their place in order to uh, i did not only identify in order to assess whether they are going to continue to be the educational institution or not so i am not joking in 1981 to 84 almost 81 to 82 not 84 81 to 82 in tamil nadu during my plus 2 only uh, 11 to 12 engineering colleges were available now the same tamil nadu geographically running more than 500 colleges engineering colleges so now the threat is very very most of the engineering colleges nowadays are actually 
planning to shut down or close down or wind up whatever it is. What's the reason? Whenever they failed to touch the what is called the the quality, the threat is always there. So as a that is a particular institution. This is the right time based on the NAC accreditation and also accreditation and also NIR. You can have the chance to identify the place where you are. That is the first point. The second point is also very, very important. Now this is the right time to assess whether your college is going to be engineering college or arts and science college. In some areas, some colleges are nowadays slowly switch over from engineering to arts and science. Why? So the second point is also very, very important as far as the institutional value is concerned. And your college ranking is not assessed by your own paperwork. Take it in your mind. Based on the data analysis, so when you just tap the MHRD uh, NIR portal, you, you can see the word data capturing system, data DCS. That means data capturing system. Whatever the data uh, you supply through your institution, it won't accept. It itself collects the messages or materials from various sources by means of using what is called the data capturing system, almost like our uh, CCTV in uh, that is in the portal and in the website. So the fourth point is also very very important. I am not. I am just talking about the NIRF, and here I mentioned certain things about NAC because the, uh, things are actually overlapped one with another. So initiation, that means the institution into innovative and modern methods. Every time the institution should have some kind of innovative ideas. Long back, I used to see such an advertisement, in, particularly in Erode and Karur and other places. The students were attracted by means of using these systems. The lunch is free, uh, bus pickup is free. Why these kind of uh, innovative ideas are occurring in the minds of what is called the college. Actually, colleges has to uh, propagate. College has to uh, circulate the idea of giving knowledge, not to giving any incentives like our government. Uh, that is the attract the audience by means of some free uh, schemes. It's not so. Only through the material, only through the what is called the quality education you can attract. There is no need of any advertisement for IIT. There is no need of any advertisement for Anna College, sorry, Anna University. There is no need of any advertisement for certain colleges. I don't want to mention certain colleges. If it is so, uh, that will be biased. So I don't want to mention any private colleges. Most of the colleges, even today, they maintain their quality. So this. Uh, this parameter help you to identify where you are. And the last point is also very important, provides a reliable information. That the information is, suppose uh, previously, uh, I think uh, some around the eight years before, most of the people used to cook the material, uh, what is called a change or remodel the material and submit it. Now it is not possible. Whatever the data you provide, that should have some authentication. So this is the not only NAC, uh, switch over to the NIR side also. The same problem, visual representation. That means no need to uh, produce. Uh, suppose if my name is Dr. S. Rajarajan, no need to give anything about myself into the portal. It is already available. It is already available by means of my own college website. It is already available by means of uh, my own publications in various journals, my own uh, speech. For example, today I am delivering the speech in uh, Sarada College. In one way or other way, this uh, delivery, the, this uh, thing will be recorded 
somewhere i don't know not only in sarada kale somewhere when i mentioned the resource persons uh, that is uh, feel it may easily rejected or accepted by means of what is called a visual representation and the second one comparison uh, last time when i when our college secured 46th rank that time selvan lakshmi phoned me sir how you secured this rank the question is just how your college is a government college how is it possible to secure 46 whereas we are running the college in a very no doubt most of the aided and also self financed colleges comparatively running the college more efficiently effectively than funded colleges no doubt but what is the reason still the what is called uh, the rank is trailing we can discuss later so the other two points are also whatever the information you provide you you give you gave it should have some reliability and also assurance now we are coming to our business what is called national institutional ranking framework this is only an outline how our institution is going to be ranked what are the criteria why our institution failed to reach the rank and again i would like to give the warning to each and every individual uh, you don't feel inferior when your college is actually not found on the particular rank several layers are here it's very difficult it is easily announced by mhr it is very very difficult Uh, i i give the reasons in the meantime i will i will suggest. so among the five parameters see the how the marks are distributed teaching and learning research and professional graduation outcomes outreach and also inclusivity and the last one is the perception actually this program has been launched in our mhrd in the year 9 2015 and this methodology is actually uh, almost this outlined methodology is uh, the base to rank the institutions across the country a committee has been set up by mhr leads and they govern this throughout the year throughout the year they govern our institutions progress what is called the strength and weakness whatever it is in various parameters various tools and they classified the parameters clearly that is broadly into five categories that is the teaching and learning is very very important the first two criteria the two category and other things also uh, it's very simple if the beginning is good the end is so natural no need to wait the result so if the uh, if the start is good that is a teaching and also the in research field if it is good naturally your college will be ranked in the right place and here how the score is here uh, that means the nir of uh, they have some sort of Uh, if you know cbse syllabus if you know cbse evaluation method it's very easy to understand this area it's a relative score i think this relative score is almost uh, uh, nowadays even in entrance examination we had the system number of students number of total number of marks that means the, suppose 100 students 100 students mark and by means of what is called the average and we fix the particular percentage as the percentile previously uh, during our school days the same system is in a different mode 
it is called uh, if a particular class uh, scored uh, that uh, that is why i uh, i would like to say one thing here uh, before entering this college service or once after entering the, entering the college service you must have certain knowledge about what is called the beard course that will help to identify the students mode the students level the students psychology and also uh, the what is called the the correlative activities rank correlative activities every time you cannot have the same kind of students every time the teacher has to change what is called the relatively so percentile nowadays is so popular previously what is called the moderation previously not nowadays we are not using the term right now so this type of the ranking system across the countries both accreditation and also ranking the percentile system and already i mentioned how they identified sarada college versus kanjima munivar college how they identified very simple i am not mentioning other colleges because uh, I, i don't know the number of participants and uh, participants from various institutions so don't mistake me i am belonging to kanjima munivar so i refer my college and i am delivering the lecture to the sarada college so i am mentioning the college name sarada college that's all there is no other meaning behind it uh, we are not actually broadcasting or what is called advertising our college at this stage it's not so i just uh, give some example that's all so the institution has been checked with reference to the data validation that have been built in that means uh, again on the same point oh, whatever the source about myself whatever the source i want to give uh, to the nir it must be already available in the data that means in the network services in the website if it is so then only my data will be valid otherwise it will not be taken in top the second point i don't want to discuss here it is a point mentioned by nir it's very difficult the man the man the fee structure should be very very low but at the same time you have to serve more see you should not uh, collect the fee from students but at the same time your your contribution that is the college contribution should be more that is also one of the criteria and third point we will discuss it later regarding obligations so one thing is very clear here the reflection of the whatever the institution is standing with other institutions is very simple for example here in our pondicherry union territory particularly in pondicherry three colleges three government colleges but all the three government colleges Uh, has not been ranked in the same why that is the our uh, target right now the first point first parameter teaching learning and also the resources you don't uh, i just uh, clicks the template there is no need to discuss what is called ss what is called ne what is called nt no need just you see and it is available in the net if you want this uh, slide you can download from your uh, sponsoring agency okay. in fact this is calculated based on the total number of students so hypothetically it is very very difficult that is why i am sharing my own experience to you uh, in nir of maybe fix certain criteria Uh, what is called a nac maybe fix some criteria the college management and also principal also pressuring us to fulfill the criteria it's very difficult the reason is here 
This is calculated based on the total number of students enrolled in the UG and PG programs. Suppose in our college, almost 16 postgraduate programs are all available. And you know very well, mathematics, English, computer science always filled in full size. So you find very difficult to enroll number of students in economics and history and nowadays in Tamil also then how can this kind of the imbalance will be balanced see number of students enrollment that should that is these are all the correlated theories main criteria so the calculation is based on the total number of students enrolled in the UG and also PG programs in the institute and also the number of doctoral students. Doctoral students always varied from place to place, university to university. And some students uh, used to finish the degree within two to three years. Most of the students uh, comfortably seated and take five to eight years. And the NIR ranking is also connected with these kind of the students. See? This is number one problem. At the end, I would like to give some lecture about what is called quality teaching and what kind of the students you have to shape. Just I would like to share with the points based system. The second point, what is called a faculty student ratio. Say the two things are controlled or handled by the government itself. As far as the UGC is concerned, the criteria for undergraduate and postgraduate, they have some system. Based on the system, NIRF is also expecting the same. A class must have this amount of students. But the government is so particular Last year, if the class is consisted of 40 students, the government immediately increased with the help of principal 10%, 45. Again, 10%, 50. Again, 10%. And the, another rule is there up to 60 in theory class is permitted. Okay. But the NIRF is asking. 1 is to 15 or 1 is to 10 ratio. Suppose if, uh, if the UG course BA English, first year 50, second year 50, third year 50, 150. See, 150 students, 10, minimum 10 teachers to be engaged. Minimum 10 teachers to be engaged for UG. If it is a PG, you have to add without I am I am not calculating the other subjects. That means foundation English or common. If suppose if this kind of ratio is available, your college will be ranked. So there is no meaning to blame the college, there is no meaning to blame the faculty, no meaning to blame the what is called our students. Contradiction is there. The government is on one side insisting up to 60. UGC also permitting up to 60 for theory class. But at the same time, NFI, NIRF is very particular about uh, 1 to 10 or 1 to 15 to score maximum marks. If the, if the ratio is erratically given, I know most of the colleges are running with either four or five faculty for undergraduate courses, I know, including our government colleges. As per the ratio, it is wrong. We are in, we are not in a position to blame this side or that side. So you don't bother about the NIRF ranking. Keep it in your mind. You try your level best, that's all. It's not your mistake to lose the rank. So this is a very important point. You keep it in your mind, whether it is the management or the principal or the faculty. I just to, uh, that is why I'm asking Selva Lakshmi, 
shall i talk frankly honestly and she said okay sir no problem sir so i i am not actually targeting any individual here either either the faculty or the management management in the sense not sarada any institution management okay the next point combined metric for faculty with the phd see phd getting a degree getting the doctoral degree nowadays most of the people gives a wrong impression cutting and pasting they are always using this term oh, what meaning getting a phd is nothing by means of cutting and pasting i know the real problem i took seven long years in order to uh, get that degree so as a faculty is a very difficult to concentrate the phd program for time or evening whatever it is with my own academic activities whenever you go for any kind of study leave or anything the government is very clear you have to adjust with your own academic activities there is no such provision provisions nowadays to permit you for any kind of such leaves rule rules are also there but it is not an easy thing to justify yourself because you are paid for only for teaching if you want to equip yourself you have to compromise yourself only you should not ask anything from the government anything from the management anything from the college not to blame the hod not to blame the principal nothing you are going to gain you are going to increase you are going to improve your standard what is called enhancement i saw the word right from the beginning enhancement enhancement is purely on your side you can't get any incentives or concession from anywhere if you are enhanced you will be rewarded by means of increment you will be rewarded by means of social rank you will be rewarded with other things if you don't want to enhance the swat analyst the last word t is the threat is the you will be easily you will be easily replaced by somebody else so be careful beware of this so this point this area is what is called calculated based on the percentage of the faculty with a phd on one side there is no provision for any study leave or anything else on the other side if the faculty with the phd the college rank will be ranked that is why i informed to the coordinator sanvilakshmi last year out of 54 staff in our college almost 52 staff are phd holders so that is also one of the reason we secure the place 46 so how this rank is ranked because of the calculation the percentage of the faculty with a phd next okay financial resources again the problem our college is a government college we don't have any fee structure uh, in fact the tuition fees is zero is it possible to run the same level to other colleges see one side you have to give free education another side you have to generate fund two things are there e nowadays in almost every colleges i have attended one interview not for myself uh, i was there as a listener i was uh, watching and the interview is going on one of the person came attend the interview at the end of the interview the uh, respondent asked the individual how much salary you expect the individual is immediately uh, explained 75000 per month okay not 75 1 lakh per month you have to do these projects immediately 
so this is the real problem actually it is not visibly seen in india this is the real problem almost in all uh, parts of the world india is not actually pressuring or pressurized with this kind of the issues if your salary is per month 50000 or 60000 or 1 lakh or 2 lakh whatever the amount you have to earn you have to give 10% or 50% above your salary as a resource how by means of getting projects the number of projects i, I think most of the universities nowadays uh, running with the fund what is called the project funds and most of the staff uh, actually they are the resource they are the resource to generate the fund for the institutional purpose and also on their own service related so this part i think is not a easy thing for uh, arts and science college particularly rural based colleges very difficult it is also one of the criteria for nir front if your resource is good you will be rewarded actually my time is one hour so i don't know whether i am capable to finish all these five parameter the next stage is search and the professional practice i would like to share many things in this area uh, because I, i have the experience uh, by means of uh, encountering the uh, students encountering on the other side so this is totally the, the, this kind this area is a completely uh, a myth almost i what i feel it's a myth so number of journal it must be care listed it must be scopus if it is not so you cannot get the what is called the relevant marks though they referred my slide will inform you though they referred the uh, scopus index journals are free it's not an easy thing so i don't want to uh, discuss right now at the end i want to give certain things so uh, in order to save the time i move the, the firstly to the other side and the quality of publications again um, interrelated so we will discuss at the end uh, third one hello am i audible yes sir sir no issue sir you can continue oh. yes okay 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 no problem so this area what is called a patent so patent is deliberately directly connected with the technical related education how is it possible for humanities or what's called arts and science colleges so this part maximum uh, don't trouble yourself if it is patterned even if you, if you write something it's not an easy thing to put into the what is called the pattern pattern means something innovatively uh, introduced to the society and uh, you can uh, air mark and the uh, air marking is here calculated for further ranking systems and this point is also what is called footprint of projects and professional practice industry related things are here mentioned how is it possible to bring the industry into the educational system suppose the mr of tire is there in salem or in anywhere if they sponsor a particular course in connection with their own leather technology or something else uh, that that is not an easy thing to incorporate the it is possible in abroad see it is not uh, easy thing uh, country like india it is very difficult because we are giving the free education so industry won't uh, allow themselves last week i think we when we made some kind of a move with the industry they openly declared it's not an easy thing to give in a move with arts and science colleges what's the meaning in it so in that sense i feel uh, this area is not relevant to arts and science 
but it is uh, possible always uh, possible to the uh, chemical engineering or other engineering in connect mechanical engineering connected areas the third point i would like to wind up in a very simple term graduation outcomes see at one stage uh, i think how, how many of you are in uh, from the ug colleges uh, when i was in ug colleges i have this problem the government is recommending every time to admit whatever the quality of the student so admission entry area the government recommend uh, the supplementary students or whatever it is you just admit yeah and also ready to increase the seats third year the same student should be a qualitative quantitative based student that means it is the responsibility of the teacher to equip the student what is called a in the up to the level of something uh, beyond our control so graduation outcome is the, that is the number of student as a fraction of the approved intake who have passed the university exam within the stipulated time time that means uh, this problem is not arising in uh, arts and science colleges nowadays most of the engineering colleges particularly in tamil nadu anna university controlled the colleges they feel very bad about the percentage of the passing students so this is the third uh, criteria is, is very very important for what is called a ranking system number of phd students graduated i already mentioned most of the students are unwilling to do their research work within 3 years within 2 years they spend their time lavishly they don't want to put themselves within the framework of what is called the research activities just they entered registered and left at one on early morning they came and asked about their progress and process uh, it is a headache of the research supervisor really pathetic as far as the research supervisor is concerned uh, they feel very bad about the development in the field of what is called the research activities the reason is the students are very ambitious to secure a seat in phd but after that they don't want to do anything but the nirf is very particular the students output should be relevant to the input it should not be suppose if the first year you admit to some around 50 student another 3 to 4 years if there is no admission there is no correlation it should have some average entry if it is not average the system is wrong that is the hypothetical value through the nirf system and a very very important issue how many graduates not a matter how many of them are placed it's a very big challenge in what is called the uh, just a minute So that is a very big challenge in what is called the uh, placement side in placement cell. Uh, it is a responsibility of the placement officer. Uh, they should be very careful about to place the student in a right way. Otherwise, next year they don't have any admission. It's a, a number one challenge in almost all the engineering colleges, particularly self-financed colleges. Uh, you leave all these things. I don't want to discuss how many students in the top universities, how many students are PhD graduated. I don't want to discuss right now because I would like to share a few things before going to end the session. This one is very peculiar outreach and inclusivity. This is, uh, there is no meaning to uh, supply the demands only within our own boundary. You go and bring the other strength, other st students. For example, in Pondicherry, we don't have any system to accommodate other state students in PhD, but particularly in our college. University is possible. In our college, we don't have any system uh, to accommodate other students if they are not coming in the first 10% category. We don't have any particular uh, reservation system for other state. But the NIRF is asking. How many students are from other states? How many students are from other countries? 
the mark is there. So I don't know whether it is possible for all colleges. In Pondicherry, it's not at all possible, I know. And this area nowadays is so popular, what is called the women, uh, percentage of women in this area. That is the ideal expectation to score maximum. That is a minimum 50% of women students, 20% of women faculty, and two women in senior administrative positions. I think it's not a, a impossible in women's college, but it is very difficult in men's college because most of the Tamil Nadu men's colleges are not populated by women faculty. So in that case, they can't uh, achieve this, uh, what is called the, this category. And the weightage is also given 30 months. I hmm? uh, Madam? Uh, something is crossing. Uh, uh, Sir, so you have to unmute yourself, sir. Madam, am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, madam. Okay. Thank you. So, facilities for physically challenged students. Again, the same thing. Women, socially or economically weaker. This one is physically all this criteria is very very important to secure your place in what is called in a nair of ranking it's very very sensitive and also important and the last category what is called the peer perception this is not up to your level if your service is good it must be reflected from the society so it is the duty of the college, it is the duty of the teacher to render the service effectively. The result may be natural, what is called the peer perception. The data is not collected from the college. The data is actually collected and connected with the public reception, what is called the perception. And uh, I think three to four categories are here. One is the academic peers, another one is the public, and the last one is called the competitiveness. Uh, actually, I come to the right time. Uh, what are the benefits, what is called the pros and cons of this program, or what is called this NIRF ranking system? At one stage, your college will be identified globally, no doubt. The campus entry will be attracted by means of many companies, no doubt. But you have to compromise several things. For example, I, I would like to quote one thing here. For BA English Literature, uh, as far as the Google search is concerned, but BA English Literature, and the course fee is ranging from 15,000 to 1 lakh in India. Uh, but in America, that value of money is around 8 lakhs to 9 lakhs. You just imagine the difference. And most of the other college want to collect 15,000. It's only average 15,000 to 1 lakh. Then how can you put your college into the ranking system? The ranking is very clear. You should not collect more money from the students. At the same time, you have to serve more to the students. But in America, it's not so. Whatever the course you need, you have to pay the full course fee. That means, as far as I, actually this is a statistical data is not presently available. I tried my level best. Uh, when I was doing my MED, I know one thing. If the BA English graduate joined the first year and finished at the third year, he may spend some around 3,000 or 4,000 total, what is called the college course fee and also uh, examination fee. 
but the government has spent to more than 4 lakhs per head there is a method there is a measurement i don't want to discuss right now because the time is too short but if it is an uh, mbbs student whatever the money they spend right now is not their money the government has spent more money on it so all these things are actually taken into account and based on the output finally they give a shape what is called your college is ranked in this category and dear participants uh keep it in your mind as a teacher you are more responsible beyond this nac or nir you just forget it all. i just uh, open the box i do actually i don't have the time to share each and every slide with a elaborate manner uh, because uh, another uh, session is also already madam uh, came to this floor i know so i would like to share few things before conclude the session so as a teacher what is our role you just ask the question yourself there is no meaning to ask the question by the principal or the hod or somebody else no need as a teacher what is your role if your role is good no need to bother if you are actually professionally ethically morally okay we don't want any master regarding our field i would like to just quote few things from mahabharata dronacharya's part dronacharya is a well known say uh, yeah, well known person well known guru but uh, you if you analyze the character you feel what should be a teacher what should not be a teacher see dronacharya shaped arjuna no doubt dronacharya is not willing to accept ehalaiva dronacharya is not willing to accept karnan on one side it is correct he was paid for it his salary is fixed by the what is called bhishma or dhridrashnan to train only the gauravas and pandavas they are not uh, he is not allowed to train any other student apart from these two as a teacher we are also controlled by the management as a teacher we are also controlled by the government as a teacher we are also controlled by the society as a teacher we are more responsible than dronacharya on one side again as a teacher dronacharya gave more concern more concession towards arjuna than the other students here i want you as a teacher you should not be uh, biased your i should always on 1 to 10 or 1 to 100 or top to bottom not to see any individual as an individual so if your work is good if your deliverance is good if your contribution inside the class is good no doubt the feedback is so natural the based on the feedback the nir of ranking is natural based on the feedback the students quality will be increased so everything is depending upon the teachers quality than the students quality if forget about the students quality whether the students is miscreant mischievous culprit whatever it is it is our duty to shape to change to mold such kind of the students into our fold so always a challenge teacher role is not a roll teacher role is always roll you are the role model you should be the uh, you should be the what is called ring master inside the class you should be the clown to the students you should be the buffoon to the students you should be the whatever the role they need you should be act accordingly then only you can achieve the right place it's not an easy thing whatever i am telling is very difficult but that is the fact 
if you are capable to manage the classroom no need of any master for you it will not be replaced by anybody else your place is always secured so this is on one side and i just want to share two or three points in the field of obligations it's very very important nowadays it is a mania everywhere anywhere every time the people are actually worrying about so scopus index or what is called web science so it's not an easy thing when your salary is good that means if you are crossing 1.5 or 2 lakhs and above you can aim for your option for scopus is good no problem because you are affordable suppose if your salary is uh, uh, what is called uh, tangled in between 15 to 20000 there is no meaning to spend such a huge amount even though the institution or the management is pestering you you make it very clear it's not an easy thing to get a chance that is a free journal no it is not an easy thing you will be standing in a queue your turn will not be easily available so only paid uh, groups are there paying payment means it will touch around 15000 to 20000 it's very very difficult i know so if your salary is affordable you go ahead if it is not affordable you don't bother that is very plain and very practical so in order to bring or in order to give a shape to nir there is no meaning to compromise yourself a lot you try your level best you do your duty the result is so natural see the result is so natural i just mentioned certain points here what is called the international free scopus these are all available in our website also no need to bother right now uh, and uh, regarding the cab uh, i don't want to give any negative side on cab list but it is my suggestion if the cab list is given each and every colleges it is easy for the uh, it, it is very easy for our faculty members uh, to write the journal only the prescribed cab list it is very easy but when you go and search in website is very difficult to find out what is called a care list or what is called a cloned see uh, if it is cloned then the, the list can be easily removed from the website so i don't want to blame the system at least the college wise we can circulate uh, these are all the only recommended ugc care list so our uh, staff members or faculty are advised to Uh, do the work only the registered if it is so is a kind of service what i feel uh, i am not uh, stressing the thing to any individual it's my uh, point of view that's all uh, madam is it okay or shall we uh, shall i continue more <laughs> uh, <laughs> so i think it is excellent time management sir i don't have anything <laughs> to tell you <yeah. laughs> because you excellent have to time management <laughs> okay mona okay mona thank you yes uh, oh right uh, okay thank you for the thank you from uh, my side participants uh, all the best uh, thank you uh, yes madam sir please be on okay be on lines so if you have any questions you can very well clarify okay 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 uh, uh, dear participants if you have any uh, questions you can very well uh, post it now um I think you can uh, uh, use the raise your hand option so that we will unmute you so you can very well uh, get your questions clarified. Yes, ma'am. And participants, you can use your uh, Telegram group also. If you have any questions, we can very well take it from there. Um. Yes, Doctor Kavita. Yes. Do you have anything? Yes, yes. Do you have a question? You can very well. No, 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 not yet, madam. I'll I'll ask at the end of the session. No, actually, uh, yeah, this is the end of this particular session. If you have okay. any questions on NIRF, you can very well. Okay, okay. I'll ask you a little a little bit later, madam. I'm in okay, the meeting. Okay, okay. Well. I'll. Uh, madam is calling me. Just a minute. I will let you know about this. Okay, okay, okay. Um, 
I think uh, at this point we don't have any questions from the participant side. Uh, but Sinar, uh, I think you have just proved to be a role model today. Um, uh, I have just taken this particular uh, uh, word only from your presentation. Yeah, you have played uh, played a very excellent role today, sir. One and Lakshmi, your, uh, Madam, one Lakshmi yes. raised the hand. Lakshmi. Okay, okay, okay. So one second, sir. Um, Hello. Ah, yeah. Uh, yes, ma'am, you can. Very good presentation, sir. I am Dr. Lakshmi, Department of Commerce of our okay, college. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Madam. Uh, very impressive talk, sir. Uh -huh. uh, really, we came to know many things uh -huh. because recently we submitted the NIRF and we got the ranks also in the 100 uh -huh. 100 band. Okay. I am reading an article, sir. Uh -huh. The current methodology of the NIRF that ranks uh -huh. better funded higher education institution. Mm. About the high performing ones, just mm. to because they are small. Mm. What is your opinion, sir, about this? Madam, I actually long back I met uh, the uh, care list chairman, Archana Thakur. At that time, I asked the same question What's the benefit of uh, securing a ranking that is the colleges? Do you have any fund in connection with the rank? And she said there is no such things. Ranking is only meant for to improve your standard, to know your status. Uh, you know one thing, uh, when you want to avail a loan, nowadays in banking, they are asking about civil score. Is it or not? Yes, sir. Uh, that is the same thing in NIR also. Mm. Okay, sir. Oh, thank you, madam. Thank you. Dear participants, if you have any doubts, you can very well get it clarified. Uh, but sir, I have only uh, oh. positive notes for you. Oh. Yes, sir. Uh, in the Telegram, yeah, in the oh. Telegram group, it is uh, yeah, nice presentation, informative session, mm. uh, nice presentation, excellent session. And uh, there is one participant with a note that mm. uh, the really the resource person understood the SF college faculty members' condition. Mm. So you seem to be very practical. <laughs> Uh, so I think you have impressed them a lot today. <laughs> yes, yes, I know, madam. I know. Past 28 years, I crossed several things. So I know the real problem on lectures, real problem on student side also, not only teacher side. I know the uh, almost all the sides. And uh, also I know the management side. <laughs> management oh, is also uh, running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are also nowadays find very difficult to run the show. I know. That's what you have a very uh, wide mm. uh, what to tell, experience so that you are ready to share with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah uh, I, know, I, I know. Yes. Uh, Actually, uh, what uh, Selvalich may meant for the, I know the real question, but I don't want to commit the question. That is why I gave a very decent answer. <laughs> OK, is, uh, OK. Yeah, I don't want to commit myself in this way. OK. Uh, 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 sir, I think there's no more questions. Okay, madam. Thank so you. Just, uh, yes, uh, okay. sir. Just a note of thanks, sir. No, just okay. a note of thanks. Okay. Uh, sir, uh, today you have just given us a very elaborate uh, uh, difference between NAC accreditation and NIRF. And you have just, uh, I, I can say, uh, I can very well say that you have just uh, touched upon the, uh, uh, the real sense of teacher. And you have just made us to think how far we are responsible and how we are supposed to think beyond uh, certain things. And uh, as per uh, NEP 2020, I think uh, you have just touched upon Mahabharata also and uh, how far we are supposed to take information from the uh, ethics, uh, how we are supposed to bring in all the knowledge which are very much in India. So I think uh, you have rightly stated about the Dronacharya and I think we'll take, the, take that as a home uh, a message, take home message, sir. And uh, you just uh, made us to think about outreach and inclusivity and how to uh, have this peer perception. And then uh, regarding the SWOT analysis, uh, I think uh, all the teachers will definitely uh, think about all such things. And uh, once again, I would like to thank on behalf of our uh, college for readily accepting 
and then uh, you have just made it uh, national uh, level uh, 10 day webinar series uh, thank you and thank we you. just look upon yes uh, even in future we will be just troubling you so you have to give mm -hmm. us more knowledge from your side thank you thank, thank you. you sir thank you thank you thank you yes sir shall i leave the floor right now madam yes yes oh. sir yes sir oh. thank you sir thank you thank, thank you. you thank you thank, thank you, you. Sir. Ah, thank you, thank you. Linda, thank you. <laughs> uh, Dr. Linga, I think uh, Dr. Revati is very much ready now. Yes? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Okay, now uh, we are on the... Uh, uh, we, uh, we should be ready to have the next session now, and this is going to be by Dr. Revati, Assistant Professor of Chemistry. And she's going to deal with e-learning and ICT tools for effective teaching and learning. And uh, one more topic, ICT tools for technology infused in learning 2.0. And to her credit, she has published nearly uh, five papers and edited books and seemed to be a very active researcher and also a techno savvy. With these words, I just invite once again Dr. Revati K, Assistant Professor of Chemistry. Um, the floor is yours. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you for your nice introduction. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. You can. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ma is my screen is visible? Yes, yes. yes. Very much, ma'am. Very much. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Good afternoon to one and all connected here through virtual mode. On behalf of all, first I wish to express my heartfelt gratitude to our Almighty for keeping us in the safer zone during this pandemic situation. My humble pronouns to our revered Director Zamba, revered Secretary Zamba, our beloved Madam Principal and esteemed Controller Madam for giving me this knowledge sharing opportunity through this 10 day webinar series. I extend my warm greetings to all the teaching fraternities who have gathered here. I thank Dr. S. Rajarajan sir for sharing his broader knowledge in NIRF. I'm here to share certain views on my topic e-learning and ICT tools for effective teaching and learning and ICT tools for technology and infused learning 2.0, which I have learned through the FDP which is conducted by mm -hmm. Aravalli College and Savita Engineering College. Here, we are seeing that e-content, why it is needed and what is. E-content, it is an electronic or digital content. That is, the information which are delivered over network-based devices are available through the internet. It is a digital text and images which are designed to display on the web pages. It is basically a package which satisfies certain conditions such as distance minimization, cost effectiveness, and user friendliness and adaptability to local conditions. And this e-content should also be an interactive one. It should be easily understandable by the students and it, it should make the students attentive. And the major advantage is self-paced learning at the convenient time. And the purpose of e-content development is to create an information-rich society. Very well-designed, developed, and validated e-content will provide access to high-quality, meaningful digital content, serves as an effective virtual teacher. Here comes the effective measures which have, um, which have been carried out by Government of India. The various measures are EduSat Satellite, National Mission on Education through Information and Communication Technology, National Program on Technology Enhanced Learning, Shiksha.com, and these are all some other portals of NME ICT. Swayam NPTEL and CEC, Consortium for Educational Communication, EPG Pachala, EENTRA, Virtual Labs. At this pandemic situation, we all well know about the virtual labs. Because of the virtual labs, we had conducted more practical uh, live uh, sessions and spoken tutorial, FOSSE, 
ERP Educational Resource Planning and Well Known Swayam Prabha a collection of 32 DTH channels, National Digital Library and ESO Sindhu, etc. Here comes the principles of e-learning. It should match to the curriculum. It should engage the learner engagement, innovative approaches, effective learning, formative and summative assessment, coherence, consistency and transparency, and ease of use and cost effectiveness. Here I have classified the e-learning content into two different types, easier one and advanced one. In easier case, I had given slide-based courses, quizzes, training videos, podcasts, dialogue simulations, ebooks, etc. In case of advanced one, I had given the interactive videos. Why we have to give the interactive videos? Because in the case, if you're giving a 30 minute duration of video, a student won't be view that particular video for the entire 30 minutes. She may skip the video or she may not be view the video. So for that, we have to give the interactive videos and virtual reality and augmented reality, that is virtual labs, to offer the learners real life experiences. And how we can do that interactive videos? Here's the solution, that is through the egg puzzle. So by means of egg puzzle, website, we can create a web based, easily accessible one. We can create the e content which is available 24 by 7. We can include quiz, open end question, voice over notices to that video. And also we can have capture learner data for later assessment and feedback. And we can easily edit or customize our questions based on learner needs. This edpuzzle.com was started in 2013. It was free to access and it provides strong tutorials also. And it is a self, it offers a self paced learning. That is, students can watch their video at their own convenient time at their own place. Here comes the every student is accountable. We can track every student's account. That is, if you are uh, assigning a video to a particular class containing 10 students, means we can view. How many students have watched that particular video? That particular student, how many times she had viewed that particular video? That also we can um, verify that here. So our it comes, um, see who is watching and who is answering the question. And the most important thing, students are not able to skip the videos ahead or they may not be opened other tabs. Here comes our ultimate motto, 100% student participation. And what is egg puzzle? Whatever may be the video, whatever may be the video from any resources, it may be from YouTube, it may be from YouTube, Khan Academy, egg puzzle, TED Talk, National Geographic, and whatever may be the video resource, we can embed our own assessment question and track our student progress also. It's very and useful and powerful technique also. This is the web, um, image of creating an account. Better we can go for a login or a, before that we have to sign up and then we have to log in as a teacher. And this is the step by step process for entering into the Ed Puzzle. Go on to the edpuzzle.com. We have to sign up as a teacher. We can connect to our school and department. We can follow the tutorial to create our own video as a lesson. This is the step by step process for getting into the edpuzzle.com. Here, comes the how we can view the egg puzzle. Two type of modes we can use here. One is the classical one and the live mode. Classical one means students can watch their video individually. They can work independently at their own place. And it is very, very perfect for the rotation station. That is a flip classroom. We all well know that is a flip classroom. And in case of a line mode, we can project the video in front of the class and students can answer their own answer on their own videos, their own devices in the real time. And also we can get live feedback. And here in Ed Puzzle, we have two type of classes. That is classic class and open class. Classic ca class means if I am, I am a student of first BSc chemistry, I can enter into the first BSc chemistry also through that class code. If it is an open class, I can enter into any classes. And it's a time saver one. Because we are using the already existing lesson as a vi video lessons, 
and embedding our questions, etc. So we are using a ready-made lesson from another teacher or uh, we can search for any YouTube video and can create our own e-content interactive questions we can add and we can record our upload record and upload our own teaching videos also here. And here we can connect through Google Classroom also. And this is the assign and post on Google Classroom. Um, similar to Google Classroom, we are having uh, same features. That is, that is for what, which class we have to assign the content. And this is the start date and this is the due date. And the most important thing we have to click on this prevent skipping. If you are giving on mode, the prevent skipping, nobody can skip the video. Nobody can skip the questions. They have to answer the question. They have to rewatch, rewatch, rewatch. Then they have to answer the question. Then only they have to move further. And this is the student tracking data. Under the assignment section, we can select the progress. And by clicking on student's name, we can see how many times the videos can be watched by that particular student. And we can also view what answers he, she had given and what are the scores she had get. And we can grade our open-ended questions and we can give a comment to the individual question to the individual student. And we can export the data into a CSV file as we know from it is similar to the Google Classroom. And here comes the comparison of our Edpuzzle versus Google Classroom. In Google Classroom, we may view that how much, how many students have turned the assignment. Here in Edpuzzle, how many of you watched and how many times they have watched and what are all the grades we can all uh, access by the access from this Edpuzzle website. And these are all the editing tools, only three tools. That is crop. We can cut the video. The video may be a 10 minutes duration, but the entire 10 minutes is not necessary for the student means we can give whatever the necessary portion. We can cut the video that only we can give that give to the student. And also audio track and audio notes. We can give the voice or notes also to that particular video. And also we can include questions. That is quizzes. We can give MCQ questions. We can give true or false. We can give short answer question. We can give open ended question. And the most important thing, what are all the changes which we are doing in this uh, Ed Puzzle video? All the edits have been saved automatically for every few seconds. Only three tools. First, we will be editing. Then we are we will be assigning that it content. And here comes the advantages of Edpuzzle. It's very clean and clear interface. It's very easy and simple to access by the students and teachers also. It offers multiple video resources such as YouTube, Khan Academy, National Geographic channels, TED Talks, TEDx Talks, etc. We can crop the video. We can add voice notes. We can give open ended question or multiple choice questions, etc. We can modify the existing lesson for a particular video. Already so, so many teachers have uh, modified the lessons means we can use that lessons also. And we can create a lesson by using our own video also by using screen recorder or video screen customatic recorders like that. We can create our own video in that video. We can uh, include this uh, voice note addition, quizzes, etc. And the most important thing, we can track student progress. Here comes the end of the egg puzzle. And next, I think we, we may know from the pictorial representation. Now I am going to share some points on mind map through eDrom Max software. Uh, already Dr. Sri Devi had given a brief note, very brief note on. Uh, mind mapping. Um, here comes the mind map. It's a useful organizational technique which involves creating a visual diagram to capture and structure information, ideas, or concepts. It's a more interesting way of brainstorming an idea. Rather than keeping a traditional method of taking notes and organize ideas, 
It's a graphical method of laying out our ideas and organizing information in an easy to recall manner. It's a visual thinking tool, brainstorming, exploring new ideas and information in a unique way. We can represent tasks, words, concepts, or items linked to a link to and arranged around central theme using non-linear graphical or layout. And also it builds intuitive framework around that central concept. Basically, and finally it avoids dull and linear thinking. Here comes the purpose of mind map. The, what is the purpose of creating the mind map? Because it's a versatile productivity boosting technique that finds application in various fields nowadays. Mind maps are created by mimicking the brain's thought process and also stimulates both hemis hemispheres of our brain. The purpose of mind maps are you can generate ideas. Mind mapping fosters mental creativity and is an effective technique coming up with ideas during a brainstorming session. The way a mind map is structured with a central focus point, which is connected to many different branches, making it easy to enumerate ideas and capture useful information. The same thing which I had given in the form of image. OK, the purpose of mind map. I had discussed about the generate ideas, manage projects. This manage project means we mind maps are dynamic and resourceful tool for project management. It can help us to plan strategically and organize our project. With the mind maps, we can enumerate all the process and tasks involved in our project, and we can understand how these process culminate in the successful execution of our project. The third one is find solution to the problems. Do you need to understand a problem and come up with solution and action points? Yes, we can use a mind map. Using a mind map to explore a problem brings you into relaxed, peaceful mental state where we are more prone to focus and critically look at a problem to come up with solutions and actionable steps. The next one is taking notes. Each connection in your mind map is represented with a color and it enables easy memory recollection. And also it is useful to set up a personal and career goals. Where mind mapping scores more valuable point rather than traditional linear goal setting method with pen and paper. Because these mind maps are visual and our brain is more likely to remember these visual goals, getting you to a step closer to achieving your, our goals. The next purpose is creating engaging presentations. This mind map is an excellent aid for presenting information and concepts to an audience. We can engage our audience and hold their attention during a presentation by taking advantage of the visual elements of mind map. Keeping us focused on key concept on the subject of presentation. The last one is it improves the grasping power of the user. A great way to supercharge your study time. With a mind map, we can take notes, identify core concept and underlying point that support the core concept in an easily recall manner. And also it fosters critical thinking and aids retention of absorbed information, the most important one. The same thing which I had given in the words here, generate ideas, manage project, find solution to problems. The same things I had given in the form of image. While we see this slide, which one will be readily absorbed by our mind is this concept of pictorial representation will be readily absorbed by our mind. So that's why we are using, we, we should be, we should be used this mind map concept in our teaching profession. And here comes the key element for an effective mind map. A central theme that is the main subject of a mind map. Branches, these are all the sub ideas which are originated from the central concept. And the keywords, it should be simplified form, condensed and captured. That is short, 
sharp and crisp keywords we have to use. And color. Each connection in a mind map is represented with color. It enhances our memory recollection. Images. We can use visual element and images to illustrate connections in a mind map. And here comes, we can use mind map for brainstorming, problem solving, planning a particular topic, researching and jot down information from multiple sources from pieces into whole, presenting information from a single platform, gaining insight on complex subjects, enhancing our creativity, note taking, study and memorization and easy recalling. Here comes the advantages of mind map. The first one is it develops analytical skills. Engaging and meaningful form of learning is an excellent and beneficial way of developing analytical skills because it ignites our mental powers, enabling us to think critically about a core subject matter and how ideas are linked and connected. The second one, it break down complex concepts. That is distilling complex ideas into smaller chunks of information because mind maps are key, key focused, condensed, and this help to simplify concepts and focus on critical point. And third one is it improves memorization and retention of information. It involves identifying a central theme and pinpointing how the sub ideas are connected and interlinked to the central theme. These connections are Illustrator with the use of visuals and colors enhance the brain's ability to, ability to recollect information. The fourth one is it boosts productivity, not only boosting the productivity and also enhances our creativity. Because nowadays people are using these mind map for studying, note taking, project management, presentations, etc. To help us to take full control of tasks and stay highly organized and creative. Easy to, re easy to review. Mind maps are structured in a way that the central topic is connected to several later subject sub ideas using branches. Unlike traditional linear note taking, where you have to read line by line, you can easily scan your map, mind map, identify the central concept, and we can sub keywords to know the focus of a mind map. The same advantages of mind map which I had given in the word format and also in the pictorial format. So I like this pictorial format of representation. Not only myself, each and every one of us, I think that we are liking this kind of pictorial representation. It will be uh, retained for a long time, I think so. And there are so many tools for creating our mind map, mind mister, I mind map, mind manager, mind app. There are so many tools are available for creating a mind map. Here comes, I had given the eDRAM Max. Through this eDRAM Max, we will be going to see how the mind map can be created. This eDRAM Max is a software which is the best choice for diagram, most comprehensive diagram tool. We can access through the so website eDRAsoft.com. Here, can, here we have introduction, features, functions, and examples. It's a very professional one. It's the best diagram solution to help you design, create, improve, and achieve our goals. It's an all-in-one graphic software. In a comprehensive way, we can say this eDRAW Max is an all-in-one graphic software. It makes us simple to create professional looking. It includes this eDraw Max software includes flow chart, network diagram, organizational chart, business presentation, building plan, mind map, fashion design, workflow, electrical diagram, business from click, clip art, floor plan, uh, project management, directional map, web design, electrical diagram, and so on. All these things include in a eDraw Max software. And among that, we will be looking for this mind map. Before that, we will be uh, looking. What are the features which are available in eDraw Max? Here, it is very easy to use because we are having more than 5,000 vector symbols which can be easily accessible by drag and drop method. It creates a wide range of diagrams using template, shapes, 
and drawing tools while working in an intuitive and familiar office style environment. And for the vector shape, we have distinct colors, font, shapes, styles, pictures, text, symbols, which are available for each diagram object. This is the starting page of that eDRAM Max. Later, I will be showing that. Various templates are available. For a flowchart only, various templates are available. Basic flowchart, business process modeling notation, cross-functional, horizontal, like that. We are having so many templates for creating our presentation very useful and effective. And in the library, we already we had discussed that more than 5,000 vector symbols are available, which can easily drag and drop on our page. And then arrangement, the most important thing, we can gain greater productivity in diagramming features because it automatically align and arranges all shapes. We are having enormous number of themes and quick style. It creates professional looking diagrams quickly with the themes available in the eDramax soft, and we have enormous effect and quick styles. And the effect, just by clicking, just by one click, the color change and the color, the color of the entire flowchart is getting changed to our need. Whatever the color we need, we can change by just one click. And these are all the examples of eDramax software, 3D network diagram shapes, and the highlight shapes. All shapes in this library windows can change color, theme, and effect. And these are all some more examples, grid matrix, horizontal list, perspective list, list market analysis, segmented process, Segmented cycle, server workflow, sale model workflow, cost effect line style, audit process flow chart, business photo organization, organizing chart, hospital organization chart, directional map, and even it is available for um, floor planning also. Simple home floor, three bed floor plan, etc. I think now let's go to the live mode. First, let us see that eDRAM Max, how we can download that eDRAM Max. In Google, we have to type that eDRAM Max. This is the official website of eDRAM Max Soft. By clicking on that, we can download the eDRAM Max software. After downloading that, after downloading that, we can stay in the trial version. No problem that on that. Mm. It will be like this, the icon, the wonder share eDRAM Max. By double click on that, we can open the eDRAM Max software. By clicking on file menu, we can go to the new option. There are so many diagram panels are available here. Basic diagram, business, flow chart, marketing, mind map, organization chart, management, strategy and planning, analysis canvas, like that. So many diagram panels are available here. Here we are going to see this mind map. In this mind map, we can use ordinary mind map, we can use concept map and bubble diagram. Here, what is, one is only one disadvantage is some of the features are not accessible by the trial free version. We have to stay with the trial version, okay? So in that trial version also, we can use more. So I'm creating a free, uh, sorry, new mind map window by clicking on this plus symbol. Immediately it will come. The main idea, the main topic it is a basic uh, default theme. It will come. OK, uh, suppose just I want to give. An example. Nature. What is nature? What are all the nature? Was by just double click on that, we can edit that content. And mountain. So we can add topic also by clicking on that topic. 
insert topic we can get it similarly in n number of topics we can be inserted okay no if i want a sub topic if i want a topic before the current topic we can that also we can do that if i want a sub topic click on the topic where we have to want that sub topic click on that then click on that sub topic a sub topic will be appeared ocean in ocean we may give pacific ocean etc just for a simple concept i am giving uh, for whatever the concept we can use this mind map this is a default theme uh, default theme which are available and if i want to change the theme we can select it we can go here theme we can select the theme by just clicking on that one second If I want to change the theme, I didn't like this theme. I want to change. I want to make it colorful. So we can go for a theme automatically. If you go for a theme, it is a general one. If the cursor moves on that, automatically the color of that mind map is getting changed. So whatever color we on we want to be used, we can choose on that. Okay, we can choose our color like this also, and some other features also for changing the color. Let us see one by one. And here comes the mind map. Here also we can change the style. The default style it is available here. Here the cursor that uh, arrow marks is getting changed. Now also the arrow mark getting changed. it looks rainbow color colorful very colorful if i want to change the layout that also we can done we can change for anything so like that we can change the layout also if i want to include the numbering system we can go to the numbering system and we can add on it and if that concept the topic or sub topic content should be a round edged one or sharp edged one we can change that also um we can change the border color also that color uh, the border line thickness also can change and if i want to some float topic some topic which you have to be use it is a float topic by clicking on that is getting inserted and this this is the branch line colors this branch line the ocean rivers that curved line the branch line colors also we can change over here or we can simply we can view the rainbow colors that is full of colors yeah there is here comes the floating topic if i want to give a certain topic separately we can give the floating topic and for that also for each and everything we can change the color because we are having enormous themes of color we can change on that okay and likewise we will be we will be using this mind map and from this and again i am going to file new um there are so many drawing panels are available here and i am using the flow chart some concepts or 
basic flowchart to create. We can create a flowchart by using drag and drop of the basic flowchart shapes. Then we can add. It will be having some red dot. OK, we can rotate here, rotate the shape or whatever may be the size we want. We can increase or shrink or the uh, shape. If you're clicking on that. Red button, it will give a connector. It will get connected and we can use any other shape. And. Likewise, we can enhance our creativity. There are so many basic themes are available here and I had. I'm I will be showing that. This is one example which I had tried today. Just for a example, I had created this SSC or a college Sri Sharda College for Women. In that we can use many main topics, some subtopics, a subtopic. And we can use all these brainstorming images also. And this is another example of mind mapping. This is another example of mind mapping. Um, this also I had done this two days back. And this I had done for my practicals. Just for creating interest in among the students. And. And this one is. Ah, the branches of chemistry. Just by clicking. I can change. The color. And by selecting all those things we can change over our style. We can. We can change the arrow marks. So it's a very easier one. It's a game like. Um, Mind map is similar to a game. This image I have we had seen in our presentation. Here I had used this. I created this for our presentation. Really, I enjoyed a lot while working on this mind map because we can have more ideas, more creativity will, will be enhanced. This one I had really dragged on uh, drag and drop it and then I edited that. Again. There are so many templates, so many circular shapes are available here. So from that. I had drag and drop here. We can change over our this color. We can increase the size or decrease the size of this shape. We can change the color if you want all blues. If you want all or pink, we can change or otherwise we can get the rainbow colors by clicking on that. Right click. And also we can. Change the shape also. First we are, I thought I thought that it would be good for my presentation. Later on I can decide that it won't be suit for my presentation. I can change so right click on that. We can replace the shape by giving on like whatever the shape which I need. So by just double click on that we can edit. And we can do the work. Very easy and effective one for teaching. Everyone would like this. Even students also very enthusiastic. Even we can give more projects related to this for us as an assignment for the students. They will be enjoying in doing this. I think so. So likewise, we can do that mind map. There are so many templates default shapes are available that in that. Uh, and also we can directly copy it. By clicking on that. We can copy and paste it in our presentation also. OK. 
I will show that also. I'm inserting new slide. Just by control C and control V, we can bring it into PPT move. So likewise, we can do that very easily and effectively. We can create e-content, which will be very attractive, I think. And most of the features which are similar to our Word and PPT, so it goes without necessary. Um, it goes without saying, I think. And next, I, is there any doubt to be clarified here, ma'am? Excuse me, ma'am, is there any doubt? I will try my best. One second. Uh, Revati, uh, I'm Dr. Lata Shridhar. May I ask you a question? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, yeah, when I was trying parallelly, I could do it only through PDF. Uh, can you uh, do it again uh, uh, to uh, copy and paste? In PDF? Yes. In I think uh, in PDF, it, it can't be. It, it yes. doesn't possible, I think. Can you do it? I didn't try it, ma'am. I didn't try it for PDF. No, 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 no. When, when I copy and paste, it is coming in the form of image. Yes, yes, ma'am. It will be in the form of image only. Yes, ma'am. Uh, then how can I fill in the details? Then? We can edit here also. Whatever the content, it should be included in the pictorial representation. We have to give here itself. After finishing the work, we have to okay. copy it full as. And we okay. have to paste it there. Then we can use oh, okay. it. Okay, okay. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Pa. Thank you. Yes, nice. ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Welcome, ma'am. Excellent information shared by you. Thank you so much. So nice. Thank you, ma'am. It's my pleasure. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. May I continue with the Ed Puzzle? Shall shall we move on to Ed Puzzle, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. You can. Yes. You have yes, 10 minutes more. Could you finish it? Is yes, it possible yes, to finish it in 10 minutes? Okay, okay, okay. And in Google, we can type Ed Puzzle. Go to the Ed Puzzle website, edpuzzle.com website. We can, better we can sign up. Better we can sign up as a teacher because as a teacher we can sign up as a teacher and we can sign up with Ed Puzzle. It means we have to create our account. That's it. But creating our account, we can log in here. Here already I have an account. I will go there directly. By skipping the creating account. This is my Ed Puzzle page. Here comes my classes, gradebook content. We can create a classroom. My classes tab. We can create our new class also by giving um organic sorry it could be msc chemistry the description i am giving organic chemistry it's an optional one the grade level should be a higher education college level that subject it defaults it shows chemistry because I had entered into the Ed Puzzle as a chemistry star. Here comes the classic and open one. The classic means only that MSc chemistry students can view the content. No other can view that. If it is an open one, any person in the Ed Puzzle account can view this class content. So preferably we can give the classic content more. We can create class. Immediately it will give due as a man, no due date class members. We can invite students through the class code. This class code can be shared with our students. They can join a puzzle through that code. 
by clicking on the copy link, we can share through the WhatsApp also. Okay, then already I had a class on BSc chemistry. I had for the sake of this presentation, I had created this. Really, I had learned now only <laughs> earlier I learned, but I forget that all, all those things. In this BSc chemistry, I had created two assignments. This is the due date and how many of them turned it. And there is one due assignment also that is June 26 tomorrow. And for all the class members we can view here. This is the teacher. Who is the teacher? It will be shown here. And the number of students. Here is the class code. And these are all the details of the student. And our more is it better? The most important thing we can create the interactive videos here, and we have to post it. For that, we have to go the content tab, and here. Here comes the popular channels. What are all the resources available? Edpuzzle, YouTube, Gone Academy, National Geographic, TEDx, Veritasium, Number File, Crash Course. All these e-resources, video content are available for our lesson creation. Okay. Now, as a chemist, I want to give some chemistry video. I think all of you getting hurt. I think sorry to that. Naming of organic compounds. Number of videos which are available here will come. There are so many videos. The name of the video, time duration, like that it will be coming. I'm taking this 30 minutes video. By just double click on that, it will be opening like this. Here can, can, comes already. It is an existing lesson that is at 1.33 second. There is a multiple choice at 2.21. There is a multiple choice like that. It will go the information of that interactive video. We can edit this video also. By using. Edit option by clicking on that edit. It comes like this. There is three tools which are available here. First one is cut. We can crop and trim our videos. We can give the voiceover notes. We can give the questions. Here comes the cut. We can play the video by coming to the edit mode before coming to the edit mode we have to view the video where we have to give the question where we have to give the voice note where we have to cut the video we have some pre planned work so then only it will be easier for us where we have to cut where we have to give the question etc i am playing now here i want to add cut That video was divided into two halves. This one part and this is the one part. No, no, I mistakenly done that. I want to undo. We can do that. Now we can play. Now what? 15 second I had used that add cut tab. Now the video was cut into two. If I don't want this means we can delete that also. The delete symbol will be available here and I just clicked on that. That initial portion of that video was deleted. So it will be available for the student from the from this. The previous version that previous video that is the previous uh, content. It's not available here. So where we had cut that video from that it is visible to the students. We can use it and. For time being, 
I am giving questions here for make a demo to you. Here I will. I am giving a multiple choice question. Just by giving waters, organic compounds. Here we can give the option study of and compounds. If it is the right option means we can click on the right symbol. It in, it's a correct one. If it is the correct answer means. If it is the wrong answer means we can leave it as into symbol. And I'm giving the another option study of. And then we can save here. And we have to give continue. Then we can give voice over notes also. I want to give the voice over notes means you can click on that. We can start recording by using our systems microphone. Here the recording is going on now for five seconds. Whatever the uh, content we have to be delivered through the voice over note, we can record over here and then we can stop recording. That also can be played. If you want to tell it, you can tell it and we can re record that. And then we can go for. Similarly, we can give the voice over notes. So until now we had no, we came to know that what is cut option, how we can do that, what is voice over notes, how we can do that, and how we can give the questions also. After all, all those work was over means we can assign to particular class also. Okay, just by giving finish. And then we can assign that video to the first whatever the class which we want. We can assign all by giving the start date and due date. We can give the due date, it's our own convenient time. So before that, they have to complete the task. We can set the time also up to what time they can submit the test. Submit the test and all. So after all that by giving the due date, the save button will be enabled and we can give save. And this is the important thing. We, it should be prevent skipping mode should be in a on. It should be on. If it is a on, off, the students can skip their videos without viewing the videos. They can answer the question, etc. We don't know whether he watched or not so far. For preventing that, we are clicking on prevent skipping. Then we can give assign. I had assigned to BSc chemistry class. Now I am going to my classes. Due assignments. And this is the naming organic compounds. Just now I had done that. So how many of you turned that assignment? How many of you viewed, etc. We can see that. And next, the student process. For that, I'll show you once again. And already assigned the task it is. You can click on here. We can go to this page. Here, by clicking on student's name, we can view how many times she had watched, how many, how much time she had spent on that, how many questions she had answered, at what time she had opened the assignment, and all those things we can see in here. And manually we can grade the open-ended questions also. So after seeing this, 
we can comment also. This is the first question which I had given for the assignment. This is the second one. This is the third one. Okay. For this mark is not allotted here because, because it is an open-ended question. So we have to grade it here and we can give that comment also. Well done girls like that. Positive comments or um, comment we can give here. Then I have to move on the next student. Olimati, and then like that we can view number of students. And this is a great book. For first BSc chemistry, this is the export grade book. We can export this grade books as a CSV file. By clicking on that export CS, uh, grade book, it is asking us to say where it should be saved. So it is getting downloaded as Excel file. By opening on that, we can view how many of the students has answered for the question, how many of them are correct, like the messages we can, informations we can view from that. This is the student name, the total score, which they had scored. This is the time spent, and this is the question. This is the question. This is the second question, which I had. I didn't grade it for the open ended question. So, likewise, we had seen, we can see the mark statements also. And this is the total score and total time spent. And this is the number of assignments which are assigned to the particular class. All those things we can see in here. And the number of students, all the students' details are available here. I think uh, I have finished my content, I think. I think that I have finished my presentation. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you all for the patient listening. Uh, OK. I think uh, there is no question, but still I was able to see one question in the chat box. Uh, yes, ma'am. Regarding uh, yeah, how to integrate Ed Puzzle with Blackboard. Do you have any answer for this? Mm. At present, I don't have an answer, ma'am. Yeah, no, actually you cannot integrate because uh, no, no, no. One is related with Blackboard. That is a traditional board, and uh, I don't know how can you can integrate that. I think with the smart board you can do it. I think it is possible so with the interactive answer. board. I think. Yeah, only with that board they can very well do it. Uh, but uh, yes. uh, otherwise, yes. yes. That's what we are in our classroom. Yes, ma'am. Only with that, but not with Blackboard. I think. Yeah. Uh, uh, but otherwise, it is very much, uh, you can very well see the comments, very useful, excellent, nice presentation, very much useful, clearly explained all such things. But still, uh, dear participants, if you have any doubts, you can very well get it clarified. But I think only when you just uh, try it out, you will have some doubts. Yes, ma'am, yes, ma definitely. <laughs> definitely. For that, I will so share I some of the materials also in the Telegram group so that they can be benefited by go through this. Definitely, definitely. A uh, very kind of you, Dr. Revati, because you have okay, uh, you, so you are ready to share all such things. Yes. Okay. Yes, and uh, I think yeah, yeah. And Dr. Revati was very much. Uh, she has proved that she is very much uh, very active because uh, she has given us a very good hands-on training and she has dealt with this mind maps and eight puzzle and it was very much uh, very 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 interesting, colorful and it was very nice. And you have given us all the principles of e-learning. Uh, content types and then purpose advantages all in one graphic software. It was very much excellent, Dr. Revati. And I think uh, the, uh, all the participants will definitely, I think uh, many are eagerly waiting for your uh, PPT. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Because in the Telegram, yeah, in Telegram, I can very well see that uh, uh, excellent session, very useful and informative. And normally there will be always a note that please share, do share with uh, the PPT. Okay. Yes, uh, I will share uh, yes. 
And uh, sir, uh, there's one uh, question in the chat box. Um, chat section of the MT is not opening. So you can very well uh, use the raise your hand options uh, so that uh, uh, you can very well ask the questions if you are very much uh, needed. Uh, sir? So you can very well. Uh, you can unmute yourself, sir, if you have anything to tell. Okay. Okay, thank you, Dr. Revati, for your excellent presentation. And now over to Linga Murgeshwari. Yes, over to Dr. Linga. Thank you, ma'am. Now uh, it is a uh, feedback session. Okay, yes. And uh, dear participants, uh, the key to learning is feedback. And it is really impossible to learn without feedback. Uh, so after this 10 days of uh, uh, sessions, we just want to know where we have uh, gone right and where we have uh, committed some mistakes. And uh, in order to know that in future, we can very well rectify all such things and we can very well uh, conduct another session without all such flaws. So with this uh, in uh, thought, we have just uh, asked the participants to come forward to give their feedback and voluntarily uh, two staff members from our uh, institution and one member from the outside uh, colleges have accepted uh, to give their feedback and now i would request them to record their feedback now and uh, over to dr linga yes dr linga thank you ma'am uh, may I, uh, now request dr uh, yes Prabhu. And associate professor chemistry. Linga, it's not very clear. Yes. Mama, am I audible? Your voice is breaking. Yeah, your voice is breaking. Yeah. Okay, ma'am. Now I request. Yeah, now it is okay. Dr. Prabhavati, ma'am, to give her feedback on uh, any webinar series. Thank you for Over inviting me to feedback on, on this uh, national level webinar. Good evening to one and all present here. The success of any education system depends on the quality of teachers, which in turn depends on the effective learning teaching process. It has been revealed by Many research studies that the caliber of teachers has tremendous impact on the caliber of the students. Hence, a teacher who is a permanent learner has to update the subject knowledge continuously and should be aware of latest development. Use of ICTs in teaching learning process makes the lecture effective and improves the quality of teaching. This national level 10 days webinar series on quality enhancement in teaching and learning strategy plays vital role to create increased quality awareness and help teachers to improve their teaching methodology and skills by imparting hands-on training and knowledge on e-learning and ICT tools for effective teaching emerging technologies for education, online teaching and learning tools, and how to manage the online classes. The topic entitled Research Structure and Writing Proposal, Research in Industry, Open Source Tools for Research, How to Write a Case Study, Advanced E-Tools for Research, and challenges in building collaboration in research and innovation emphasized the ways and means to promote research culture among teachers. Promotion of research is crucial for improving the quality of higher education system. It is one of the factors which influence the quality of teaching. The quality of higher education can be enhanced by designing need-based curriculum keeping in view the demands in the employment sector 
at national and international level these key points were also addressed by the resource persons of this webinar to various topics on obe institutional benchmarking of best practices benefits of benchmarking and how to set up a benchmarking exercise was also clearly highlighted in this webinar series the day to day need of managing electronic waste was also nicely explained and it was a mind opening session nowadays all higher educational institution tries hard to improve their ranking the thought provoking lecture delivered by the resource person dr rajarajan highlighted the criteria factors parameters and data on which nir ranking has been done and kept our attention till the end of his lecture many of the participants may knew something about the concepts covered by this seminar however there is a significant difference between knowing something in the back of our mind and actively recognizing and implementing them during today life in that sense i felt that all the talks were very well organized and presented in a crystal clear manner the delivery of their insight make the sessions more relevant and interesting to the audience i have really liked the way this webinar has been conducted over 10 days the organizing team did a great job it shows their commitment i appreciate the effort put by the team members finally i would like to conclude my feedback by saying these words quality means doing the right things right doing things right is efficiency and doing right things is effectiveness now we did a effective job by organizing this seminar in a right time for this i thank our principal management and organizing team uh, for uh, providing this opportunity for all the participants so everybody should put into practice what we have learnt in this webinar and then improve it with the extra knowledge and bring credit to our institution thank you very much for providing me this opportunity thank you ma'am ah uh, one second linga yes ma'am uh, linga one second uh, the uh, i think a participant has raised his uh, hand option yes ma'am so if you have anything to tell you can sir ma'am my sir yes sir sir you have anything to tell yes sir sello kumar ha no 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 sir sharad that uh, by yes. taking such a hard work there must be some proof for the participant i wanted my intention is to take you to the pandit madan mohan scheme pandit madan mohan malviya scheme that started by ugc that certificate has certain weightage in career advancement scheme so whenever next time you Oof. want to arrange such a long term program please see yeah. that okay. you get a from pandit madan malviya so that all the participant would be benefited thank you thank you thank you very much sir thank you very much <laughs> okay over to dr linga yes thank you ma'am thank you sir and uh, now uh, i request uh, ms r bhavana indumadi then assistant professor of home science to have to share her views on this webinar over to you ma'am I'm audible. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, very much. Okay. A pleasant evening to one and all virtually connected here. I'm very happy to register my feedback for this 
national level 10 day webinar series on quality enhancement in teaching and learning strategies all the session from the day one was very interesting informative and interactive one and all our resource persons were very much resourceful and were and resourceful and enriched and updated our knowledge to handle the present scenario so thank you all and about the organizing committee a wonderful coordination then and then they resolved the queries which made the webinar series a fruitful one all together to put into a nutshell the 10 day webinar series was very much effective which also kindled us to enhance our teaching strategies which in turn help our students to cope up with the current demands thank you all thank you for the opportunity thank you ma'am thank you thank you very much thank you ma'am excuse me ma'am yes ma revathi ma'am yes. i would like to thank uh, thank note i would like to give a oh. thank note ma'am yes yes you can i would like to thank the organizer and coordinator for this arrangement of 10 day webinar series and their meticulous effort for the successful conduct of this event and i, I thank all the participants who are um, very patient during this e listening and i thank one and all gathered here thank you ma'am thank you thank you revathi thank you thank you ma'am over to thank dr linga thank you ma'am yes, ma uh, uh, thank you revathi ma'am okay now i request uh, uh, dr uh, mr a s selva kumar lecturer psc ramaswamy raja polytechnic college to give his uh, feedback about this over to you sir ma'am please Yes sir, can yes sir. Me? Can you yes, hear sir. me ma'am? Yes sir, yes sir. Yes sir, yes, yes sir. Good evening to all. Uh, respected principal, Professor Umarani ma'am, Sri Sarada College for Women, the coordinator for this program, Professor A. Siva Selvalakshmi ma'am, and the co-coordinator, yes. Professor T. Linga Murugeshwari, and the resource persons, and all the participants. Now, first of all, I thank the organizers for uh, giving this opportunity. Thank you, ma'am. Usually, the faculty program or any program on teaching and learning process, usually it is for three days or five days program. But the quality enhancement in teaching and learning strategy, it is 10 days program. As Dr. Rajarajan told today afternoon in the first session, it is really very, very difficult for 10 days finding the right resource person scheduling time all these things are very very difficult but you have conducted uh, this uh, 10 day webinar very very systematically in all 10 days right from beginning till the end all the resource persons have been presenting different aspects in quality enhancement in teaching and learning strategies perfectly especially covering the given session within the stipulated time by sticking on to time schedule that shows the best time management in your program right from beginning and the resource persons have projected several aspects related to quality enhancement focusing on quality education providing education by considering em employability and entrepreneurship education through unbiased education system by adopting cultural and ethical values of the society through inclusive group new technologies for the classroom activities by having the best communication skill by the teacher, curriculum development and the transformation, and the interactive learning and the teaching by incorporating and the curriculum design and the delivery, and the digital classroom where we can upload the assignments, tests, quiz program, making them easily accessible to the students. Such quality will provide better and a unique education system. The enhancement of quality in teaching will give not only improve the quality in teaching but also it gives confidence to the students community definitely and the various aspects of MOOC, e-learning and ICT tools for effective learning and teaching and e-content development and also e-waste generation processing and waste disposal methods and their impact on society and the environment are dealt very well. In addition, writing project, project proposals and getting the project fund easily Effectively, research collaboration within the department with the other uh, institutions and how to write case study by taking simple examples are also additional credit to the 10-day program. 
at the end of the every session uh, professor selv lakshmi ma'am she is very keen in observing very minute points while consolidating the session every time ma'am used to highlight the plus and the minuses of the uh, session not only in the session even after the session several queries from participants ma'am has responded positively immediately by answering thank you very much ma'am thank you thank you for acknowledging uh, yes ma'am finally on behalf of uh, participants and on my own behalf i wholeheartedly thank the principal sarada college for women the coordinator professor selvalakshmi ma'am and the co coordinator professor linga murugeshwari ma'am and all the resource persons for successfully conducting this program in a efficient way and effective way thank you ma'am thank you thank you thank you, sir. Sir. Thank you for your and doctor yes ma'am doctor ma'am there is one more ah uh, yes, dr kavitra chans ma'am you can unmute yourself hello madam yes sir can you hear me yes yes ma'am very yeah. much good evening I, I yeah good evening most privileged uh, participant in this webinar i was very much uh, uh, i got very much innovative and uh, informative uh, sessions i could listen to from your webinar i am looking forward okay, for more such more webinars in my future uh, enhancements now i first i want to thank all the organizers and the principal and all the uh, team members who have worked from the 10 days to make it as a successful webinar for all the teachers though they were in the uh, in the busy schedule of taking their uh, online classes also we made ourselves free to make ourselves free we used to come and attend this program thank you madam thank you so much for giving us this opportunity to come and attend your webinar thank you so much yeah it's a pleasure ma'am it's a pleasure yeah. i'm from i'm from bangalore oh very nice yeah we had participants all over a very happy thank you so much uh, for the webinar and for all the yes. reasons what they gave the invaluable uh, knowledge to all of us thank you very much for that thank you thank you for acknowledging thank you thank you ma'am uh, thank over you over to linga thank you for your wonderful words and i think this yes ma'am uh, shall we ask uh, the participants if they have anything to tell a uh, final uh, note yes ma'am uh, dear participants dear participants if you have anything to tell you can very well register now we are giving you time so madam are you sending the feedback now yeah yeah we will be sending it after this uh, session yeah, after this session yeah at the okay. end of the session we will be sending it yeah okay. thank you thank you uh, ma'am hope you are in the telegram group i hope you are in the telegram I have attended all the sessions now. Ten days. No, no, no. I just want. I I just want to know whether you are in all the Telegram group. That's yes. it. Yes. No, no, no. I am okay. not in the Telegram group. Yes, we'll be sending it, ma'am. Shortly, we'll be sending it shortly. Okay, ma'am. Okay, yes. ma'am. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Over to Dr. Linga. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Okay. Salva, this is R. Bhuneshwari from Home Science Department. Yes. I like to appreciate you and your team members for excellently organizing this entire webinar. It was wonderful. Thank you, Buna. Thank you, Buna. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very you. much. Okay. Yes. Over to Dr. Linga. And somebody unmuted, ma'am. Okay. okay. now uh, it's time for vote of thanks uh, may i also request uh, dr a selvi lakshmi assistant professor of english to propose the vote of thanks uh, good evening to all uh, i think uh, we have come to the end of the show now and uh, definitely without thanksgiving nothing is uh, complete and before giving the vote of thanks i would like to tell how this happened and uh, how we were working on it and uh, who was the ma main initiator uh, there is a saying when eating a fruit remember the one who planted the tree in the same way actually on 11th uh, madam principal uh, asked for the uh, uh, resource persons 
And then on 12th evening, she just uh, called me in the evening and then she asked me, okay, you all can very well get ready for the uh, webinar and we are going to have it for 10 days. And then she told us, okay, I'll give you the uh, resource person and the date and all such things and you are going to start it on 15th and you are going to work it with uh, along with Dr. Linga. So on 13th, we had to work in such a way that we had to re get ready with the flyer and invitation and then all the forms and everything. And we had only one day. So the chief architect behind this is our principal who motivated us. And we too, we didn't know what to do, but we did it in such a way that meticulously and even Dr. Linga had this, uh, her technical support. And with this, we uh, finished on the uh, preliminary work. And on 14th, we just gave it to everybody. On 15th, we started it. So it is something like a magic. Yeah, I, I couldn't uh, believe that it has happened in such a way. And it is very much successful. And one more thing is that when we just uh, gave the registration form and we just wanted to have more number of participants, uh, automatically we had nearly 570 participants who have registered for it. But we couldn't uh, do the technical support in one day because we were trying to have this uh, YouTube link, but our MS Teams was not supporting us, so we couldn't do it at the right time. But still, we just wanted to have everyone with us. So immediately on the very day, we had to have this Telegram group. And uh, one of my friends, she helped me in having this Telegram group. And uh, the next thing is that uh, at present, we have 65 participants from other states and uh, nearly uh, 330 participants inside Tamil Nadu. And uh, we have uh, people from Delhi, Rajasthan and Karnataka, West Bengal, Maharashtra. And uh, I think from Bangalore, we have many of the teachers. And as per the request made by the teachers, we just wanted to convert it into a national uh, a webinar with a resource person immediately. And Dr. Rajarajan, he accepted our invitation. And this is how it happened. So I, I am not able to believe it because it is something like a magic. It happened in such a way that uh, uh, this is the last day and I couldn't believe but still I feel that we, are, we have to extend our service to the community. So we will be doing and as Dr. Kavita and uh, Mr. Sharad, as per your request, we will be doing it in a larger scale. And I think if time permits and if we have God's grace, definitely we will be joining hands with the MHRD also. So it was nice uh, getting words from you all. And next thing is that um, uh, this is how it happened. So I just wanted to share these things. And the theme as such is that uh, principal, she gave us the uh, line and we had to draw the diagram in such a way that myself and Dr. Linga had to work on it. Yes. So now I'll just move on to the vote of thanks. Um, so at the very uh, outset, I would like to thank our Director Zamba, Dr. Vinayaka Priya Amba, and our Secretary uh, Guga Priya Amba for giving us all the opportunities to enhance uh, the knowledge as well as uh, service to the people. And next, I would like to thank uh, Madam Principal Dr. Umarani for being the Chief Architect behind this 10-day webinar series. And she was the one who has uh, given us all the plan in such a way that we were able to execute it in a very meticulous way. Uh, so I would like to thank her. And next, I would like to thank our controller of examination, Dr. Roja, who is always uh, supporting us in all her ways. And next, I would like to thank the resource persons. So we have to be grateful uh, to them because they were able to present everything in a very much in a presentable manner. And uh, they were able to give it to the right time. And uh, time management was very much followed by each and every resource person. We have to appreciate it. So I would like to thank everyone there. And next thing is that I would like to thank the participants. OK, so we have to be grateful to the participants who made us happy with their presence. OK, if you are not there, definitely we couldn't have uh, come to this particular stage. So I thank everyone for the experience that you have given us. And next, uh, I would like to thank uh, Dr. Linga, who seems to be the co-coordinator and for all the technical support. And I would like to thank my PhD scholars who, got, uh, who worked with us and uh, Dr. Sangeeta for uh, helping us in bringing the Telegram group. And this is how it was very much successful. And last but not the least, I would like to thank each and everyone who have supported us 
in one way or the other. So be present in all things and thankful for all things. So this is what I just wanted to tell. Thank you very much. So if I have missed somebody's name, yeah. Now I remember, I am just ready to thank all the people who have given us the feedback, excellent feedback. And uh, it is not only Dr. Prabhavati and uh, Mrs. Bhumayinvati and uh, Mr. Silva Kumar, but each and every one who have given us the uh, a note through the uh, chat box as well as in Telegram group. I should thank you all for each and every uh, message that you have sent us because that was very much giving us uh, what to tell. Uh, it was just uh, something which helped us to move on a little bit. Okay, so with this, I would like to thank each and everyone who have supported us. And if possible, we'll try to maintain our promise. So definitely, uh, you can very well look uh, for the uh, forthcoming webinars from our college also. So we will try to have uh, some more uh, webinars and we will continue shortly. With these few words, I thank once again each and everyone. Thank you. Thank Over you, ma'am. Ma thank you, ma'am. Even I have a few words to say. I thank this opportunity. Yes. To, I mean, I take this opportunity to thank our Madam Principal for giving me this opportunity to coordinate this 10-day webinar series. And I thank Dr. Selva Lakshmi, ma'am, for helping me in all the ways to make this webinar series a grand success. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, Linga. Ma uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Call his song. Now, uh, now we request Dr. Lata. Dr. Lata. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes. Am I clear, ma'am? Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, okay. Shanti Nilaya, ma'am. Shahada Devi Jaya Jagadishwari. Om Jagadishwari, Jaya Jaya Jaya, Jagadishwari Om Jaya. Shanti Nilaya Maam, Sharada Devi Jaya Jagadishwari. Om Jagadishwari, Jaya Jaya Jaya, Jagadishwari Om Jaya. Shanti Nilaya Maam. Sharada Devi Jaya Jagadishwari Om Jagadishwari Jaya 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 Jagadishwari Om Jaya Shanti Nilaya Maam Sharada Devi Jaya Jagadishwari Om Jagadishwari Jaya 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 Jagadishwari Om Jaya Shanti Nilaya Maam Shaharada Devi Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. We, we'll be sharing the uh, feedback link you now. And um, a humble request to our uh, teachers. So we want the outsiders to have the certificate immediately so you all can use it tomorrow uh, so that only uh, 100 uh, certificates will be generated today. So we want the outside participants to use the link immediately and you all can very well get your certificates. And uh, uh, Liga, you can very well post the uh, link in the chat box as well as in the Telegram group. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma Thank you. Thank yes. you, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Selva Lakshmi. Yes, Miss. Selva Miss. Ninga, when the link 